I was like, what is flopping around? There's like, I thought it was like a rock ship. That, so I'm hitting my helmet. It's just my chin strap. I forgot to do it. <laughs> everybody how's it going today we're gonna go for a little just just a nice little cruise on the CSC put some miles on her break her in God, this thing just leans into the corner so nicely. I think a lot of that has to do with the tires that it has. So like part of me is like maybe I should just keep these tires. But uh those those big block Shinko tires, they look so good on these things. And then I'll try to explain a little bit about my uh, camera setup. I know some of y'all have been asking. I uh, probably want to know, you know, what mic I'm using and whatnot. So we'll go over that a little bit. All the Christmas decorations are out now. <laughs> we just pulled the stuff down from the attic, so we'll be decorating our house soon. I also decorate my Subaru every year, and I run like light uh, Christmas lights all around the, the roof basket and stuff. So we'll be doing that too. Oh my God! I can't wait till we get some open road. I literally took the back roads just so that I could avoid people like this. Oh, nice little Fiat. Oh yeah, check this house out. This is pretty cool. This is that house, I think, a while ago. We, uh, he did, he, so he decorates it every year for every like season and everything. He, ju he just took down the Halloween stuff and now he has Christmas stuff up. That is so cool. Do not turn. Do not turn. This is such a nice road. I love this road. pull over just let this guy behind me go because he's doing like 80 on his escalade I guess there's a police somewhere oh thank you so much sir That was almost bad. I just realized it was only a 35 there and I was doing 50 thinking it was a 45. Because they'll usually let you go. But I think, honestly, that road's like, everybody does way faster than 35 on that road anyway. This is insane. That's a high school. It's not even like a college or anything, that's a high school. 
It's one of those like private schools. It's Mount Verde. It's insane. Insane. Dude, you should see the parking lot. When this school is open and there's like, I'm talking like $60,000 Jeeps, Maseratis. There's a Lamborghini in there I saw. Like, this is like private school. Mommy and daddy got too much money. These are where all the kids that are going to grow up that are just total assholes. Every single asshole is going to come from this school right here. <laughs> Alright, I shouldn't say that, I guess. But yeah, it's, it's a stereotype that is somewhat true. Your first car should be something terrible. That way you learn to respect what you have. This seems like a pretty good time now that we're kind of slowed down a little bit. So yeah, I use my my whole setup here. I have my helmet, and then for my the way I attach the GoPro to my helmet is this pretty nifty little chin strap that I found on Amazon. So that's how I attach the GoPro to the helmet, and then. If you've ever tried to like make a video, you'll know that your the audio when you're riding a bike and there's a lot of wind noise, the audio kind of suffers. Uh, well, when I say kind of, it suffers a lot. <laughs> so in order to like defeat that, you have to get a microphone, a dedicated microphone. In order to get a microphone attached to your GoPro, you need an adapter, which GoPro sells, of course, and it's 50 bucks. I think. Yeah, 50 bucks. I think that's what I spent on it. It's a pretty good mic by itself, but when you're on a motorcycle, it's a very, very windy. So, if you just have the lavalier mic by itself, it'll do good, but then you'll, you'll still get a lot of wind noise. So, in order to get rid of all that wind noise, the last piece of the puzzle is a wind sock. Now, I just picked up a generic one from Amazon. And uh, once you get all three of those, you just got to put it on your helmet. Oh, I guess four. If, you, and if you're including the camera, I guess you have to have four. Four items. <laughs> you just attach them to your helmet, and you're good to go. You're golden. Yeah, this is a really cool, like, area. All these big, like, farms and stuff. pretty steep corner here. <laughs> when I start the GPS to home because I don't know where I'm at. I 
remember this road, dude. Oh my god. So this is where I ate shit. <laughs> I actually, uh, this is where I dislocated my shoulder. I was laying down right next to that tree. Cause, so this is, back then, like a while ago, I used to come out here with my buddy. Um, old friend from like elementary school. And we would go longboarding through the West Orange Trail. And we'd come out here and do these hills in Claremont. Went around this course, saw this hill, I'm like, yes. Went to bomb it. And then I got the speed wobbles at about, mm, I was probably doing like 45 on a longboard. Got the speed wobbles and then, yeah, I jumped off into the grass, did a couple rolls and then uh, stood up. I checked myself, realized my shoulder was dislocated and I just attempted to put it back in because it's no big deal. I usually, I mean, it's happened before. It's not a big deal. Just pop it back in and keep going. Except it wasn't going back in. That is a sh sharp corner there. So it's not going back in. I'm like freaking out. And then I'm checking around everything else. I didn't even notice at the time. But my knee is just, just pooling with blood. It's like so much blood on my knee. My buddy's like, hey, you want me to call an ambulance? I'm like, no, do not call an ambulance. I'm not going to spend that much money on a stupid little injury like this. So I ended up calling my mom. At the time I had an apple, so I, I dropped her my uh, my location or whatever. And she came and picked me up. I was in so much pain, dude. I've never, it started, I mean, it wasn't that bad, but then the adrenaline started kicking off. And then my coping mechanism is just to laugh. So I'm, over, I'm just sitting in the, laying down in the field laughing with my buddy. I'm like, I can't believe this is happening. This is so stupid. Man, I brought me back. That's a long time ago. 